Good. We can't wait to hear that part. Thank you, Jeff. Like we mentioned, we are not used to this cold weather, and it can also be very dangerous if you don't take it seriously. One person already wound up in the hospital with hypothermia this week. Now, Chatham County emergency leaders say you have got to be smart. WJCL's Nick Otario is live in downtown Savannah. He tells us what we need to know. Nick? How often do you see this? Look, there is the fountain at Forsyth Park. It is covered with icicles and the lights just kind of come on and makes it like light green. It's very pretty and while it's nice to look at, these types of conditions can be very dangerous and if you're not careful, they can turn deadly. There were plenty of unusual sights across Savannah today from people's breaths to temps at the freezing point midday and the fountain at Forsyth Park covered in icicles. If we took all the greener away and put it like snow on it, it'd probably be winter wonderland. But for some, the cold was no wonderland. It's very cold and windy. I'm not used to this. We're used to like warm weather constantly. Exactly why Chatham emergency management officials say many people may not realize how dangerous these temps can be. It didn't rain, yet WJCL found ice on Abercorn Street this morning. A problem, SEMA says, can happen because sprinklers aren't turned off. It can do one serious damage to your plants and to your grass. Also, if it's a business and they um, accidentally leave their sprinkler on, as you see today, it can leave um, icy conditions on the road, but also it can affect your pipes. With these conditions, a lot of people like to turn their cars on early, so it's nice and warm when they get in it. Police have warned people about the dangers of leaving it unattended, but emergency personnel are saying, be careful about where you turn that car on. Because if you're in a garage and the door is closed, could turn into a deadly situation. And if you're walking around, SEMA says make sure you're dressed for it because the weather is cold enough to cause frostbite and hypothermia. And if you want to get out and you want to have fun in the cold, that's one thing, but make sure that you, one, dress appropriately, and two, that if you're going to be out, you pay attention to how you're feeling. All right, here are some of the symptoms if you think you might have come down with hypothermia that you should say, experts say, look, if you're, if you're shivering, if you've got shallow breathing, memory loss, or slurred speech, if you're showing any of these symptoms, get out of the cold immediately into places that are warm. Speaking of warm, you want to drink something warm as well, but avoid caffeine or coffee. You know why? Because it actually can speed up the heat loss. And all of these advice and other things can be found on our website, WJCL.com. For now, reporting live in downtown Savannah, Nick Natario, WJCL News, working for you.